Hi guys, welcome to the video. And today I just want to ask you a question that can make a massive difference to your sprinting. And it's something you should ask yourself just before you sprint and specifically just before you start a competition and you're on the start line of your race and a bench met with 100 meters, 200 meters, 400 meters, or even if you're a distance runner, this applies to you as well. And the simple question you should be asking yourself is, how do I feel right now? And why I ask you that is because before the actual race starts is when the pressure hits you so much and the body goes into a, a very sympathetic stress state. Well, sympathetic heightened state because you, it's your pressured situation. It's competition time. This is the area where you've been training for and everything is condensed down into this, this race. What you do and your satisfaction in sports is, is condensed down into this race. So this is where kind of sympathetic and you can go out of your mind in terms of kind of not be in the right state when you do so. And you can, your, your mind is constantly on what you have to do. That's not going to be the ideal state you need to be in. How you feel just before you race sets you up for your race. So I, a lot of what I do is talking about how you should feel in terms of keeping relaxation while you sprint, but how you set yourself up for that sprinting set, that sprint is hugely. And what you do just before that, that um, and how you feel and what you do just before that race is hugely important. So this is say is like, how do I feel right now brings you back to yourself. And that's very important that you do that because the mind can send you off into what you have to do. It can send you off into things that are not going to help you in terms of nerves. Oh, I've got that really fast person in my race. He's going to obliterate the field. Or um, what, what are people going to think if I run badly? What if I run badly? And all these questions come out, come out in the most pressurized situations. You need to bring yourself back to yourself to sense how you feel because it's how you feel right now sense brings about presence and it guards you against nerves taking away from you. The other thing as well is that, and I was just watching this video again, I've watched it a couple of times now, but uh, Tom Herbert, useful coach, uh, does an absolute brilliant presentation on the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. Uh, I suggest you go and watch it. It's on YouTube. You go and look Tom Herbert, useful coach, and go to his video which is about 20 minutes long, and you get, you get to understand the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. The parasympathetic nervous system is you at rest and repair. It's where your body calms down, so the, the digestive system and your body is able to relax and rest and essentially repair itself, whereas the sympathetic nervous system is you at heightened state. This is when you're at your... your 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 kind of competition. Your This is where you're going to be in a sympathetic state. If you don't handle that sympathetic state well then it's going to overrun you and it's going to affect your sprinting. So guarding against that, saying, how do I feel right now, puts you back into concentrate, puts your point of focus on yourself, which will bring a more parasympathetic calming aspect of it. And the one thing that Tom talks about it is that kind of basal sympathetic reserve. In the fact, if you want to exert power, and so the, the the body is at its strongest and exert power. It has to be preceded. The body has to be in a relaxed state first for it to do that. So if you were to do a bicep curl, and he does this analogy in the, in the video, is where you do a bicep curl. If you're relaxed beforehand, and you want to do a one rep max bicep curl, and if you're relaxed beforehand, and then you do it, the one rep max, good. you're going to exert more power by doing that, by having that, re that relaxation beforehand, and then the tension of, of, of the power kind of coming after it. So it needs to be relaxed for you to exert the power. If you're tense and tone, there's too much tone in there, you're not going to be after much reserve for you to actually exert that power. So what he's saying is that you bring the basal parasympathetic down, level down in you and your calmness by breathing, by certain ways like that, you're going to have more kind of a sympathetic reserve to exert power. If you have too much tension and you're in a too much in sympathetic state, then that reserve is not there and you can't exert power. So it's a simple thing. What you must do is before you even start to sprint is understand, ask yourself, how do I feel? Bring yourself back to your breathing. And when you do that, you're putting your body in the best state to prepare itself for power. So this is something you need to concentrate on. 
how you feel just before you race is hugely important. So what I suggest you do is each time get into the habit, how do I feel right now? Bring it into your body. Am I comfortable? Am I nervous? Recognizing the nerves is half the battle. That's actually very useful to recognize it and separate yourself from it. Go back to your breathing, go back to yourself and sense, your, sense yourself inside your body. Sense yourself, how do I feel right now? How Am I separating myself from the nerves? Are the, or are the nerves overpowering me? And once you separate yourself from your nerves, you can actually deal with it and laugh at your nerves. And you're basically putting your body, yourself, it, yourself into that proper state to exert power, that parasympathetic relaxed state to exert power. So hopefully that video was helpful for you. Concentrate, practice it, not just before you're sprinting, but throughout the day. How do I feel right now? Bring the presence back to your body. Bring yourself back to the present moment because that is a hugely important skill. It's a massively useful skill and you're setting yourself the proper foundation to go and sprint well. The other next thing as well is to practice your breathing. Deep well, slow your breathing down. Take, maybe go deep breaths in, intake of breath for, for four seconds, hold your breath for two seconds, and then breathe out for five to six seconds. Slow your breathing down. That's a great way to bring your body back into that relaxed state. That's enough for me. Hope you enjoyed that video. And if you could like the video, I would appreciate it. If you could share it, I would appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be giving more useful tips like that that's going to instantly improve your speed, your sprinting, or very quickly improve your speed in sprinting. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.